In this video, we will see what are exactly SAP transaction codes. So let us see the agenda for this session. So first we will be just covering what exactly transaction codes are and then we will cover the list of basic important transaction code for general programming in ABAP. So let us see what exactly is transaction code. So it is basically a unique code or a shortcut code so that we can execute a specific program or its specific corresponding screen. So while entering a transaction code, here we can enter the transaction code which is just besides to enter key and in the standard toolbar we are provided with this input box here we can provide the transaction code so it will take us to a particular screen suppose we have to we have to go to sap editor screen we just write the transaction code se38 and it will take us to the sap editor screen so here we can also go to the sap editor screen with the help of menus provided in the sap logon screen but we are, it is the pro preferred way to use the transaction code since it is short and it is easy to remember. So we will provide a list of important T codes that SAP ABAP use. So SE11 it is used for displaying the ABAP dictionary, data dictionary and then as I mentioned ABAP editor screen can be logged in through SE38. Then we have ABAP function builder where we can build our functions and all it is accessed through SC37. Then we have ABAP package builder where we are creating our own packages and it is accessed through SC21 and then we have the SC80 which displays the ABAP development workbench. So this was about the transaction codes in SAP. In the next video we will see the SAP system landscape.